seasons, our first guest survived numerous marriages, affairs, hangovers, and traumas. Now she's back for more as Sue Ellen Ewing in the searing hot return of Dallas. Please welcome Linda Gray. This thing is very tricky. Yeah, right. I saw you. You've been very rowdy out here. I heard what you did. I I'm saw in, what you did. I'm in the Osborne like... seat. Yeah. yeah. You look fantastic. Really Isn't she really beautiful? Yeah. She looks great. Thank you. Very now, Linda, we were just talking about public displays of affection, and I heard that you were recently caught on the kiss cam <laughs> during the Stanley Cup playoffs with the oh. LA Kings. Now, who yeah. is this gorgeous little boy? Who is that? Oh. I like younger men. <laughs> She's a so that would be my grandson. He's nine years old. Oh, oh and, uh, horrible. I thought, wow, I've always wanted to be on this. Like Isn't he adorable? Mm, adorable. And you actually started your acting career when you were his age. So what was that like starting at that age, and what were your early jobs like? Early jobs were kind of a mishmash of uh, crazy, wonderful, wonderful little jobs. I did, in fact, I did a, a job that you would love. Um, did you ever look at the graduate poster? Did you ever see that? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember with that the leg? leg mm -hmm. and oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, the leg. wow. Do they have that? Little Mrs. Robinson. Oh, they do, yeah. That would be my leg. <laughs> oh, my leg. Wow. How did you get that job? Oh, yeah. I knew this great photographer who used me a lot. This was in the 60s, by the way. And um, so it was in the 60s, and he, I worked with him a lot. And so one day he called me and he said, um, could I use one of your legs? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't come off, but you can use. So he hired me for this job. He paid me $25. Oh, my God. For this particular poster. I had no idea what it was for. He said it was for some movie. And all of a sudden, it was hanging in dorm rooms. Did you have one wow. of those? Did you have one? Uh, I still have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? I love me? it. You're kidding. Oh, no. You? Oh, no. I'm a, I'm a big graduate fan. That Mike yeah. Nichols, he's tricky. Oh, wasn't, he, wasn't he good, though? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's still good. I'm but that leg may be the best part of the movie, so... Well, <laughs> it was just one leg, 25 bucks. I thought that was cool. Wow. That's how I started my modeling career. Yeah. And then you literally graduated from being on the poster for The Graduate to being in The Graduate on Broadway. And what was that like? That must have been really incredible. It was... I think being on... on in the West End in London is oh, kind London. of the epitome of uh, an actor's career. Mm -hmm. I think going to London, hitting those stages where all those great actors, you know, have performed was so incredible for me. So they called me from London and they said, we wanted you to replace Kathleen Turner in London in the, on the West End. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, a joy for me. What an honor. Yeah, yeah. It was lovely. It was really nice. But it, did they know that... Did they know you were on the post? They didn't know it was the leg. No, so it was just a coincidence. coincidence. But wasn't there um, some so nudity, though? There was nudity. Right. There was nudity. Oh. And so that was what terrified me. And I said, called two girlfriends in London, and I said, you must go to the theater tonight, see Kathleen Turner, let me know about this nude scene. Mm. 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 I know, now, what do you think? Did your family see you nude on stage, and is that appropriate? <laughs> Yeah, my family question. didn't go to London, uh, okay. but that was very appropriate. No, Mr. Hagman did, however. I'll tell you that in a minute. Okay. <laughs> Wait, speaking of Larry Hagman, first of all, congratulations on Dallas being picked up for a second season. Yes, yes. Well, so it's such a hot show this summer. Now, back when it debuted, what was it like? Thirty years ago. Thirty. Yeah, seventy-eight. Nineteen seventy-eight. Uh, you, I just recently found out you weren't originally cast as a regular. You were supposed to be like a guest star. What I was it? a guest star. Uh, and I never had a name. A lot of people don't realize this, but I did. In the script, it was written Sue Ellen. 
but nobody ever called me Sue Ellen. I could have been the tennis pro or the masseuse <laughs> or anybody like that. And finally, they started calling me the brunette on the couch because I just sat there. I didn't have any lines. I just sort of sat there like, da 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 But you, know, oh, you were JR's wife. I just... was, but nobody, it was kind of like, who's that person over there just sort of sitting there saying nothing? And that's how, then it became uh, a contest because I remember looking at Larry Hagman thinking, if I am indeed his wife, who in the hell would marry this man? <laughs> <laughs> right. right. And I thought... Just between us girls. Yeah. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> More with Linda Gray when we come right back. We want to hear what you're talking about. Join us on Facebook, Twitter, and thetalk.com. I should have known. No, John Ross, I, I want to. I need you to believe that. But I made a promise when I got into this race to my backers and my supporters. Oh, screw your promises. You've been compromising everything with me since I was born. the same cast for so many years how is it with the addition of new cast members it's flawless uh, it is if um, evaporated the years that from the time we ended till the time we started again evaporated mm. it's so seamless wow. we just fell right into it that's, wow. that's yeah. great now your co-stars uh, Larry Hagman and Patrick Duffy are known for their infamous pranks. <laughs> there, there's a prank now that's real, real infamous. What, what is this prank? A prank now? Oh dear! What is this prank now? I don't know. This, they they it's play it on you. It's oh, constant. Oh, no, so no, I go in the hospital bed. About, yeah. Oh, in the oh. hospital bed. That's an old. That's an old prank, but it's a good one. Um, I was. <laughs> so Ellen was supposed to be in an accident. Mm. Blah blah blah. Tubes up the nose. Intervening things hanging in a hospital. I, so I had no lines. Lying on the bed. Larry Hagman comes in, says his dialogue, and then Patrick Duffy comes in and says, well, JR, do you think it would help if we sang that old college song? And I'm lying there going, that isn't in the script that I have. What are they talking about? Oh God. <laughs> that old college song. Okay, all right, so I'm lying there, blah, blah, blah. And they start singing this very dirty college song. <laughs> and Sue Ellen has to start laughing. I tubes were flying. It's crazy. <laughs> and intervenous coming out of my arms. They were very bad. They're very bad boys all the time, and that's why I love them. I love it. I love it. Are they still bad now on the set? Oh, they're the bad. Well, we're behaving, the boys are behaving a little bit better now because they want to set a good example for the, for the young. People, right? <laughs> so I, but wait till next season. I don't know. I, I just cringe. They call me mom because I sort of look after them. And they're my boys. You know, it's like I'm constantly reprimanding them. And Larry's always eating the wrong thing. And so I'm, I'm, I turned into mother. You do sound like a like mom. Like mother. <laughs> I don't so like to be the mother. Uh -huh. Now, you said it was seamless going from the old show to the new show. But was there preparation you had to do since it had been a while since you played that character? Oh, tons. I thought, like everybody at this table, everybody's changed in 20 years, hopefully, right? Yeah. A little bit? You changed? Not emotionally, but... Not emotionally. Yeah. <laughs> well, we know that, but other than Physically, you... Physically, it's a, it's a wreck. <laughs> <laughs> but, so I thought, Sue Ellen would have changed. Mm. You know, what does she think about? What's, what's her... Um, where is she emotionally and physically and spiritually? What's her beverage of choice these years? What, what, has she yeah. still drinking? What's happening? Right. Mm. So I did a lot of homework because I, that's, as an actor, that's what I love. So I had to do this. I went for walks and I took her to lunch a couple of times and mm -hmm. checked out her wardrobe and I said, okay, we've got a girl, we got to sit down and talk and mm. figure out where we're going 20 years later. That was the, that's the process I love to do. That's that was fantastic. So yeah. much I think fun. that's fantastic. So She's come out of her show and she's really a different woman now, right? She's come to her own in a lot of ways. Yeah. She's yeah. sober she's now. Sober. She's sober now. Yeah. But back um, in the 70s and 80s, um, Sue Ellen was a heavy drinker. Yes. As an actor, uh, was it fun playing that? Was it challenging? Like, how did you prepare that for that? Well, you know, one of my pet peeves is that actors do drunk scenes, they're overboard. And they, it's like, no, nah, I didn't want to do that. So I read a lot of acting books, etc. Uda Hagen has a book, and it, she said, suggested, that you just slightly cross your eyes because it, all the motions are, are minimized. And you have to do everything slower. If you just 
Uh-oh. Ah. Troublemaker. <laughs> Troublemaker over there. Oh, no. That explains why Michael <laughs> knocked Michael, over the drink this. earlier. So, you know, I just, every time, you look, if you reach for your purse or your or right. glass. Like you're a little off. You're a little off, and you have to slow down your motions. But that's good, because so then you're trying to recover rather than playing. Yeah, I didn't like the play, especially for a woman. I didn't want that sort of uh, sloppy thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't want that. I thought it was not in character. Mm. Well, so I crossed my eyes a little bit. Not crazy, not right. crazy, but just soft. And if soft. you do it, you just kind of can't pick up things <laughs> as fast as you would. You have so, been, yeah. as we mentioned, reunited with your, you know, some of your, the closest original cast members and Larry Hagman's back on the show. And, and how is he doing physically? Because I know he's had some health troubles, but he's, in the photos I've seen of him now, he looks amazing. And he was here recently and looks incredible. How's he doing? Well, Larry and Patrick and I had dinner together last night, just the three of us at Larry's condo. And um, the, when the three of us t get together, magic ensues. Chaos, magic, and mystery, <laughs> and all kinds of fun. And uh, he's doing great. He's good. fantastic. Good. He's trying to stay on the diet that we put him on. <laughs> and uh, okay, Patrick, Mom. they're just like, yeah, <laughs> okay, Mom. <laughs> and that's what happened. He's, he, he's the consummate actor. He really is. He can go from Major Nelson to They Are You. Well, we saw that magic between the three of you when the three of you came on here. Linda Gray, thank you so it's a much. Pleasure. We love having you.